Virgo. This is your December 9th, 2022 daily tarot reading. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for December the 9th, 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Virgo for December the 9th, 2022 universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of virgo for december the 9th 2022 show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Virgo. These are your cards, Virgo. So, Virgo, you have the Four of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So listen, Virgo, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Clarify the Four of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Four of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Four of Swords. For Virgo, it is clarified with the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with this Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here, Virgo. Clarify the emperor for Virgo. Clarify the emperor for Virgo. Clarify the emperor for Virgo. It is clarified with the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. You have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Virgo. Clarify the high priestess for Virgo. Clarify the high priestess for Virgo. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So listen, Virgo, could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot. For Virgo, clarify the chariot. For Virgo, clarify the chariot. For Virgo, it is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you, or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here, Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the 
clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Virgo. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So listen, Virgo, you could be all up in your head fantasizing here, yes? You can tell me there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. So Virgo, I feel like it may be a little, some type of confusion here. I feel like you're needing to make a choice, okay? You're meditating on it using your intuition or rather not to go stagnant with this person or move forward with this person. But you could also tell me that because of lies and illusions or the fact that they had other options and explore some of those other options that you are going stagnant with them and you're moving forward away from them. Virgo, you have the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Virgo, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Virgo, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Virgo. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Virgo. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So Virgo could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy. You want to be happy or something was illuminated. Something came to light here. Clarify the sun for Virgo. Clarify the sun for Virgo. Clarify the sun for Virgo. It is clarified with the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. Now, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Now, Virgo, something could have came to light here that is causing a confrontation and you guys to have this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe, some type of confusion here. However, Virgo, you can tell me what was illuminated with some type of mind games and manipulation. And this is why you're worried and stressed about confronting this person, okay? You could also tell me that, you know, I'm pissed over this and I can't rest like my spirit can't rest until I confront this situation. 
Virgo, you have the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide should you, shouldn't you, yes? Or you're telling me that juggling is taking place here. Clarify for the two of pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the two of pentacles for Virgo. Clarify the two of pentacles for Virgo. It is clarified with the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Virgo, listen, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here, but this can also be some type of an agreement. Now, you could be debating concerning some type of agreement because you guys could be going back and forth. This can involve work or business here. However, Virgo, you can tell me that, hey, you're trying to figure out what to do with this soulmate connection. Or you're telling me what's going on with this soulmate connection is the fact that someone was juggling. They had other options here. Virgo, you have the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the earth element, the water element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Virgo, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician. For Virgo, clarify the magician. For Virgo, clarify the magician. For Virgo, it is clarified with the wheel of fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Virgo, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Virgo. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Virgo. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Virgo. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So listen, Virgo, you can tell me that you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Now, Virgo, you can tell me, hey, you know, I'm trying to manifest change in things. I want us to reunite here. Virgo, you can tell me that you're trying to manifest change in things because there was a third party. Hmm. You can tell me that everything between you guys has changed and maybe you're pissed, Virgo, because it very well could be that you're pissed and you're thinking about going forward towards other options yourself. I hope you're not trying to manifest a third party. Virgo, you have the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Virgo, listen, could be dealing with a Taurus, but you can tell me that you guys are in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. Um, this can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo. It is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. You know, Virgo, listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging. Now, Virgo, you can tell me, you know, you're getting your wish because maybe it's about going into some type of commitment, okay? This is your babe. You have some type of confusion going on here, yes, but this is your babe and your wish may be to go into commitment. Your wish may also be about forgiveness here. 
But are you feeling smug about forgiving this person because you're still pissed? Virgo, this is your December 9th, 2022 Daily Tarot reading. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.